Hello, it's Amy with Just a Little Ink. I'm an independent demonstrator in Prescott Valley, Arizona, um, and I'd love to share with you today a fun card that I actually found because of purchasing the birthday card organizer kit from Stampin' Up. I didn't bring both cards. It comes with the, the kit, which is putting labels on and different things. You can organize different cards for the year that you need. It also comes with 12 birthday cards, six each of two different designs. And one of them was this card. And I love the layout so much that I thought I can make this. And so that's what I'm going to share. Today I'm going to share using the brand new Day at the Farm designer series paper. I'll show you all the pieces here in a second. It's in our celebration brochure on page eight. You can get it for free with a $50 order. That $50, of course, is before shipping and tax. Um, but it's a great set. It's 12 by 12 pages, bright colors. They're really fun. Two-sided, six of um, each, two of six different prints, two of each um, for a total of 12 sheets. Um, and there's so many different wonderful um, cards and, well, not cards, projects, stamp sets, papers that you can earn for free. That is through the end of February. Um, so 28th of February is the end and things will sell out. So you don't want to wait. Um, so anyway, I want to share this beautiful paper with all these fun, fun animals um, that you would find on a farm and some great prints. And these are the six on the one side and then there are a lot more patterned on the other side great options so there they are i'm going to put those out of the way and i'm going to get going here so what i have is you're going to need and this actually ends up making two um two cards but I'm only going to make one today so what you're going to want is a piece of basic cardstock so I'm using basic white five and a half by eight and a half scored in the middle at four and a quarter I'm going to go ahead and fold that over use my bone folder get a nice crisp crease and set that out of the way you need a scrap for your greeting to go on the front. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and even right now just take care of that. I'm going to use the happy birthday. This is from the very best occasion stamp set. This was a stamp set that was in our last mini catalog. So our um, July to December mini catalog and this is carried over and you can find it in our current mini catalog on the very back pages here page 74 lists all the different stamps and products that are carried over from and it's it is right here this very best occasions stamp set um, a great great stamp set because there's so many different greetings you can use I'm only going to use the happy birthday and I'm going to use our memento ink I will say our memento ink has been very popular and so we have some inks that are on not orderable right now keep checking back you could use any color however for this so I'm just going to stamp that set it out of the way and then I'm going to pull out my mini stamp and emboss machine stamp and emboss and, and cut stamp and cut and emboss machine and I you can tell I've used this plate quite a little bit the stamp and cut and emboss machine right now with celebration if you decide to join and become a demonstrator whether that's just for the great kit or whether that is to continue and try to do a business um, stampin up actually um, supports both but on the very back pages of our celebration brochure or you can find all this information online you can opt for an option one which gets a blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine or you can choose option two, which it can choose the white one, which is in our catalog. Or you can just decide to go with option three. Option three gives you an extra $50 more in product 
for the same $99 starter kit. I will tell you that 21 years ago, that was the best decision I've made. I've made so many wonderful friends, both as fellow demonstrators, but also as customers that have become great friends. So just something to think about. If you're thinking of placing an, a large order, sometimes the best thing you can do is decide to go ahead and join. There's no commitment beyond the starter kit. And if you decide to keep going, I can talk to you about all of the other wonderful perks um, that come along with being a demonstrator, including great events. Um, and the wonderful products are just awesome. And you at least get a discount. So you need to think through all of that. There's lots of wonderful things. Again, I've been a demonstrator now for 21 years, um, and I wouldn't have traded it for anything. I'm using, you saw me put on there, the um, Stylish Shapes die. I'm using this one banner. I use these all of the time. And so therefore, they are also on non-orderable at times. And I think they could be currently. So I'm using it into here. The biggest trick with your stamp and cut and emboss machine is to overlap the top plate and to not have your die too close to the front. And it'll roll through really well. If not, tr um, try some of the different platforms. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it away. I keep the mini on my desk all the time, and I oftentimes use it more than I use the large one. So I'm going to go ahead and set that here. We're going to then get it out of the way, and we can get busy working on the fun part of our card. So get my paper trimmer handy. You're going to want our paper trimmer. I'm going to open it up get all of my parts and pieces out of the way so I'm gonna open up my paper trimmer now I told you you need some pieces of designer series paper you need three different pieces one piece is going to be five and a half by four and a half and a quarter so a full quarter sheet of cardstock you're going to want one piece that is two and a half by four and a quarter you're going to need a third piece that is two and five sixteenths by two and five sixteenths. I know it's a strange measurement, but it's a great measurement. So having said all of that, you're going to put it in your paper trimmer. You're going to take one corner and put it up in the top cutting groove. And you're going to twist so that the opposite corner is also in the cutting groove. Make sure that they are straight, like so. Close it. Make sure you're using the cutter, the darker gray. You're going to come across. That gives you two pieces that you have cut. How did I do this? So one piece here, and somehow I'm not thinking straight may need to grab and do that one more time. In fact, I think I do need a second piece. So you will hold on with me and we will do the same thing over again. Get my second piece. I've got a piece here that is in a quarter. I just don't have it cut straight. I was thinking I only need one piece, but I'm not finding that I'm going to catch it at the right. So I want to do the same thing because I want a different print on the other side. So I do need two pieces of this one. It's been a little bit since I've done this. So what you end up with is you're going to end up with two cards so that you've got the opposites can compare. So you see how I've done that. Okay. The other pieces will work just fine. So the, I'm going to do, again, the same thing. I'm going to come in from the top right to the lower, or excuse me, the top left to the lower right. And I'm going to come again and come at an angle. And this one's going to be opposite. And then I'm going to come and do the same thing here, cutting it in half. Again, I want it from that lower to the upper, like so. 
set those out of the way. Then I'm going to get my paper trimmer actually out of the way. And you'll see how fast this card goes together. So you're also going to want your um, multi-purpose liquid glue. I found it's the best glue to deal with this. So I'm going to come in. You're covering the entire front of your card. And so it takes just a sec to kind of get your glue on. You could probably use our multi-purpose sheets um, or, our, excuse me, our adhesive sheets. But I think they would, it'd be difficult to adjust. What I love about our multi-purpose liquid glue is it has some wiggle room. And so even if you get a little bit of glue on some things, which never fails, I tend to do. It does a great job. And I just, I loved how cute this card came together. So then I'm going to use the other side again. It's just the reverse of. And I'm going to glue that up. I love the chicken wire that's on the back side of this print. And line them up to the corner. Get the corners lined up. And adjust. I said get a little wiggle room, which makes it nice. There we go. Then I've taken this piece. This is the going to go in the corner, and it lays on top. And that's in part what I liked using just all designer series papers because they're not real thick. And so you don't have um, a lot of ridge and, and weight that goes along with this card when you do it this way. So really, really, really have been playing with this. And I will show you. I've got all kinds of samples um, that I did. So then I'm going to take my final corner. And everything just starts layering on top on this bottom corner. And it makes for just a really great card. So I'll turn this over and you could choose to put whatever patterns of them you decided. And our patterned paper, our designer series papers, are just so wonderful. So here we have all the different pieces on the front. And I'm going to take my greeting and I'm going to pop it up on some dimensionals. So I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. Just a couple of them will be enough. And even though the, the kit card didn't have anything raised up. And you could really put this anywhere you'd like, but I, since I've got a little chicken sharing its butt anyway, I think that's a good place to, to lay my card. And you could put other little trims and do so much. And then, of course, you need a couple little gems. And so I'm going to pull out um, our festive pearls. These were in the mini catalog, um, last mini catalog, and have carried over. I'm just going to put a gold, one gold one in a couple different places. I, I, you stared, stayed with me very long. You know I like threes. So I'm just going to put some on my, scatter them around just to give a little bit of bling. And there is my simple um, diagonal cut designer series paper card. It makes a beautiful, quick card. So let me show you the rest of the cards that I've put together. This one also uses some of our um, paper from um, Celebration. That's in the very beginning parts of Celebration. It's been very popular. I expect it's going to sell out at some point. It's the Dainty Flowers um, 12 by 12 paper. It coordinates with the Dainty Delight Bundle. The die set is on um, not orderable because it's very popular. Um, it's not forecast to be back in, in stock for a while. Use some of the new, some of the little brass butterflies on the front. Um, and this is the stamp set from the Dainty um, Bundle. Then some of the um, designer series paper that's in the back of our um, annual catalog and some card stock, which makes it a little thicker. That made a fun card. This card uses some of the Manly um, Designer Series paper and a um, from the sailing set, a greeting. 
um, and went the other direction. You notice that this is the other direction, which is what happens when you cut opposite of what I did just now. Here's one that went the other way. Um, just so some fun ideas. Again, the I think the options are limitless because paper is so limitless. So thank you again for joining me. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Please use my host code listed here. It's good through the beginning of March. Um, for any order that is under $150, remember that for any 50, you can get um, free items through the end of February. There are options for hosting, some great stamp sets that are available. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning, some great offers for joining. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Please like, share, and comment. If you haven't um, subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.